Hi everyone, this is Sarah Stonecipher Boylan, Digital Missioner and Manager of Operations for the Lifelong Learning Department. Both of those are at Virginia Theological Seminary. I'm here to go over some helpful hints when using breakout groups or breakout rooms. I refer to them both as the same thing, um, and so this is specifically for Zoom. I do want to give a shout out to my friends um, over at Membership Vision. Meryl did a great job of how to set up breakout groups, so I'm going to go ahead and send you his way if um, if you want to know sort of the ins and outs and how you do that very technical pieces of setting up Zoom breakout groups. So I'm here if this is sort of like you tried it out, you troubleshooted, and here you are trying to learn more. So this is sort of like the 1.5 version of breakout groups. <laughs> So with that, um, I do want to emphasize that breakout groups can happen on the free or on the pro account. Um, and so those are that setup is in advanced settings and you can see it over on Meryl's video. The breakout groups are really helpful because they can be great for Sunday school, they can be great for, for Zoom coffee hours, for adult forums, for book discussion groups, or even if you just have one Zoom ID, one Zoom host account, and you want a few different meetings to happen at the same time that you can have everybody come together and then disperse them out into, you know, finance meeting and then formation meeting. You can make sure that the safety of those spaces are, are kept because they, those spaces are not automatically recorded. All of the breakout rooms are unto themselves. You can make it so they're randomly assigned, or you can make it so that you can place those people as is mentioned in Mural's video. And um, what's nice about it is that the host can visit each of the groups. Um, so let's say that they're having problems or they have a question, they can give you a little flag and then the host can bounce from group to group. So going back into the best ways to use breakout groups. So two things that are really important is that uh, you do have the way of making the announcements within the group, and that's through the broadcast function. And as Meryl demonstrates in his video, which again, I'll link down below in the details, those are really helpful for little reminders, um, like minute reminders or anything like that. It's not good for questions, um, which is why I would recommend when you are um, sending people out into their breakout groups, that before you send people out into their breakout groups, you put the questions into the chat box. So then that way when people are in their breakout groups, they can still see that within their chat box. Anything that is said within the chat box within their breakout group stays in their breakout group, which I find to be really helpful for things like notes if you have to then present as part of the main group. So the breakout groups can be used again if you want to reuse that same, uh, that same grouping. You just bring it up again and it's ready to go. So with that, I think that that was my intro to Breakout Groups 1.5. Um, please reach out if there are any other questions that you have about Breakout Groups um, or if you want to know more about how to use them within your ministry. Again, my name is Sarah, and I look forward to hearing from you.